Hi, I'm Laura Bronner, a lover of delicious food, delicious beer, and exploring the world. Something that I've managed to do almost nonstop for the last 11 years. If you're just joining in on the adventure, I recently spent a few days in Italy, where I explored Milan and Bergamo, before hopping on a plane to Marseille, where I met up with my friend Wendy and we wandered the historical streets of France's second largest city. Now I'm excited to visit the nearby town of Cassis. Good morning from sunny Cassis, or Cassis. Look at this, you guys. I am here with my friends Wendy and Rob, and I'm gonna spend a couple of days here just vacationing <laughs> and enjoying the sunshine. It's already like 13 degrees. It's gonna be 19 degrees today. It is February. That's insanity. But I'm super excited to just explore a little bit and relax and show you around the south of France. This is my first time here uh, in this region in general, besides a, a day in Marseille yesterday, but uh, let's just, I just can't. Look how blue it is. Let's explore. Cassis is a small fishing port in the south of France, in the Provence region. It's about 40 minutes east of Marseille if you're driving, or about an hour on the train. I left Marseille after spending the day there and took a train straight to the town of Cassis. The train station isn't particularly close to the center of town, but there is a free bus that runs throughout the day and takes you between the town and the station. The main event in this region of France are the Calanques, or the cliffs and bays that dot the coastline. You can take a boat trip from the port, which varies in price depending on how many bays you want to see. They run throughout the day and have times posted on the outside of the ticket counter where you pay for your trip. The times vary depending on time of year. We had planned to take a boat trip that went to eight different Kalong, but the day we chose, it was a little bit too windy, so they were only doing tours to three. In the end, this was more than enough time out on the water. If you are planning to do this when you come, be sure to avoid sitting at the very front of the boat because there's a pretty good chance you're gonna get wet from splashback from the waves. I thought the best views were actually at the back of the boat where it was wide open and there were fewer people blocking the view. After circling three of the closest bays, we came back to the port of Cassis and got to see the beautiful waterfront restaurants and colorful buildings from a really stunning angle. That boat trip was absolutely amazing. I highly recommend it. It's quite windy today, so they were only doing the tour around three of the bays, uh, but you can do up to eight, and that's only 24 euros per person. So we paid 17. It's about a 45 minute tour around, and it's just so beautiful. And it gave us some ideas for some of the hiking that we want to do tomorrow. So, oh yeah. Now we're going to enjoy a little sunshine, head for lunch, and just enjoy some of these restaurants. They're so busy because they all like sit out on the sun, out in the in the sun. I mean, it's all, about, it's all about the sunshine here in the south of France, it seems. We headed for lunch at one of the restaurants facing the port that had a lunch deal. Restaurants around the port are definitely not cheap, but at lunchtime you can get a few different options like mussels with fries for 12 euros, or a starter and a main for about 15 euros. After lunch, we went for a walk around the back streets of Cassis, where the lanes narrow and not many people seem to explore. The houses were so colorful, the shutters painted brightly. 
washing lines hanging in the sunshine, and chairs out front for a morning coffee, or more likely, a place to sit while having a cigarette. Day one of my trip to Kasi ended with one of the most incredible sunsets I have ever seen. The cliffs in front of our balcony changed colors as the light lowered into the sea. One day in Kasi and I was already very much in love. Day two in Kasi started with the market. The Kasi market comes to town on Wednesdays and Fridays, and at first it didn't seem very big, but it meanders down a few of the side streets and into this little park where there are plenty of places to find produce, bread, cured meats, raw meats, freshly caught fish, cheeses, and all of the olives I could ever want. Good morning, feeling very French with my baguette. Today is Friday in Kasi, which means market day. So we've got some meat and cheese and baguettes for, uh, for later. It's a really cool little market and now everybody's just, oh, gonna get run over. <laughs> Out and about in the sunshine. Oh, this is perfect. We dropped off all of our market goodies and then headed out on a hike along the cliffs that we saw by boat yesterday. We walked past people sunbathing on the beach and followed the paths into the national park. So one of the most popular things to do around Kasi is to walk into the national park. We are at a popular <laughs> entry point to it. It's one of the easiest places to start the walk when you are walking in from the center of town. So I'll put, I'll put a link to the like the starting point, the parking lot, where you can either drive here or walk here. It took us about 20 minutes from uh, from the downtown port area to get to the start of the walk. And the main part of this walk, which is about an hour round trip, I think, is pretty flat like this, but you get to be right up in the Calon. And uh, it's quite beautiful. So we'll see how far we get today. Got some sunscreen on, it's blue skies. It's so beautiful. Also, the further into the national park you go, the more rigorous the hike gets. There's some people here with like walking poles and hiking boots on. So if you did want to like really get get dirty, <laughs> you can uh, you can spend quite a lot of time here. There's like up to you know seven hours in a in a day that you can walk around into the different parts of the the national park and and even like hike down to the really remote beaches that we saw yesterday on the boat trip. So. Uh, I think we, we probably won't do that in our jeans and sneakers today. The first stop on the walk was Port Mew, where there is a yacht club and lots of boats to see. The water there is so blue. It must have several depths because there are so many different shades of blue and turquoise. The next stop on our walk was Port Pin, which is where the walk starts to get a little bit more difficult. We scaled some rocks to get this view and then headed back towards town for what ended up being about an hour and a half walk. We definitely earned a cold beer and a meal in the sunshine. I tried a dish that is local to this region, which was a seared steak tartare that was served with panisse, which are fries made of chickpea flour and they were fluffy and crispy and salty. They were so delicious.
My last day in Cassis was perhaps the cloudiest day of my time in the south of France, but I wasn't going to let that stop me from exploring a few more of the cliffs and one more al fresco meal. sky here in Cassis. It's my last day. I'm, a, I'm about to head to the train to, to get a bus, to get a train, to get a plane. So uh, I have to say goodbye, but I'm headed to the bakery. It's open at 7 a.m. so I can get a pain au chocolat before I leave. And uh, yeah, say goodbye to this place. Oh man, you guys, so beautiful here. Well, friends, I've got my warm pan au chocolat. I'm off to catch the bus uh, to get to the Cassis train station. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is such a beautiful place. Definitely worth more than just a day trip, I think, uh, if you're along the, the French coast. And <laughs> morning here. Uh, definitely worth more than just a day trip. I think the three days here was awesome to be able to really see a lot of the, the national park, to hike, to explore the town, and to eat at all the delicious restaurants. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.